Well, it's episode one. That's right, episode one of Building the Blade GT1 Super Muscle Car. That's quite a mouthful, and I've rehearsed this 20 times now, so let's just get started. <laughs> It's Neil with BXR Motors, and this is the first episode of Building the Blade GT1. Uh, so first, let me just go over, you know, what the differences are on this new uh, GT1 versus my previous vehicle, which was the XTR. Uh, basically, the GT1 is going to be more of a more of a track car that's for the road, and the XTR version, the previous version, was more of a road car that you could take on the track, and it was a lot more. Uh, uh, luxury and since that you know it's full leather interior super high-end seats uh, touchscreen displays uh, electric you know keyless entry uh, just all kinds of the you know fancy features you would find on a typical exotic car uh, this GT1 vehicle is going to be a little different uh, it's aimed more at the uh, racetrack and it's gonna be more for uh, people that want a, an affordable entry level vehicle to get into uh, full competition racing and and having the ability to also take it on the street uh, if you choose to so i think the best thing at this moment is to you know take the camera and show you some things on the vehicle and just kind of go over some of the things that are going to change with the new chassis setup so let's do that now this is kind of the original chassis uh, for the blade and this is the one that we ended up taking to sema uh, so obviously a lot of things on here that are not done exactly the way that we had hoped but we had to make a lot of changes at the last minute so some of these front support bars um, are not done properly because we had to redo the whole exhaust system and suspension setup uh, during or right before SEMA in order to make it on t in time to SEMA and uh, just that's just how these things go so we had to improvise and do some quick changes to a lot of things uh, in the front area originally we were going to have a push rod style setup and uh, kind of a different turbo layout uh, but that changed at the last second and made us have to make some of these funky bar structures you know so I know a lot of people have pointed that out and I don't believe them <laughs> not a lot I can say about that uh, yeah so basically not going to be using this whole chassis and this is all going to be replaced with a race car style uh, space frame uh, chassis and it's gonna be a lot more uh, rigid and stronger um, probably won't be any lighter than this but there's a lot of this chassis that's missing I already cut out the cabin components or uh, support structures and some of the rear uh, pieces to the engine compartment and we will be building uh, and bending a whole lot more tube uh, for the new chassis and we have a new not really a new tube bender but we have a tube bender over here that we'll be using uh, this is made by rogue fabrication i have a whole video series of us putting this together uh, but if you want to see more videos on this then you know give us a bunch of thumbs up and let us know uh, and I'll show you some videos on the tube bender and some software you can use to get uh, really nice bends uh, for your chassis and just anything you want to make out of tube uh, whether it's square or round or whatever so yeah um, so the things that we will be keeping will be the suspension or not really the suspension but more of the uh, electric uh, dampeners and the brakes along with the engine of course and the transmission uh, just a few components like that for the most part everything is being replaced including the whole rear end uh, assembly and unfortunately the brakes too um, we're gonna end up going with a s550 uh, rear end that's modified and uh, lightened and the reason for that is because uh, that system matches up to the width that we need for the rear uh, track width so one of the things that we did on the blade gt1 while doing the body to that is uh, we widened the whole body uh, six inches and six to eight inches in some areas so it's going to be a wider vehicle overall and 
the whole front structure uh, or you know kind of subframe components are going to be stretched out which would be nice because it's a pretty tight fit uh, with the engine and an exhaust and that's one of the reasons that we had to make last minute changes to the exhaust is we had to route them differently we intended to route them uh, under the engine but had to change it <laughs> so it, it ended up working out kind of nice actually uh, so I, I may keep it kind of a similar configuration but all of that exhaust tubing is probably will be replaced uh, with a, a new setup uh, but yeah so that's kind of really the, not really a whole lot to to show you I mean it's basically all being replaced I have some initial steel here to start off with and uh, start with the the front stuff and that's about it so yeah um, the next stage now is really to get this out of here and start laying out the tubing for uh, the new chassis and uh, we'll also be adding a lot more lights to our ceiling because we just don't have any and uh, building a stand for this thing so uh, possibly do a video on that and yeah so that's kind of the thing coming up next so other than that um, I guess I'll close it out with uh, just some video of us getting this thing out of here and getting uh, the light set up so if you can uh, please you know like and subscribe if you're new to the channel uh, let us know your feedback and comments on you know what you think of the chassis idea and where we're going and just uh, your thoughts overall I'd love to hear from everybody and get your feedback so this is going to be a complete ground up build um, something I haven't done before uh, as far as the chassis and suspension goes so uh, yeah I uh, will see you guys in the next uh, video. Right, guys well congratulations if you made it to the end of the video uh, yeah uh, as you can see we've removed the old chassis and we now have enough room to start building the new chassis and a few other things so I promise in the next video we're, we're gonna start building some stuff it's not just gonna be us cleaning out the garage and fixing things around here uh, I just needed to take care of some of that stuff first uh, so that I could film and just have space to do things but uh, we did install some new lights and these turned out really nice. Uh, I ended up taking the lights back that I had uh, purchased from the local hardware store. Uh, they were like 200 bucks for four four foot lights. And these, we ended up getting uh, 12 four foot lights for like less than 100 bucks off of, e not eBay, um, Amazon. So yeah, uh, these turned out pretty nice. And I'll put a link in the description just so you guys are curious. These make really nice garage lights and they're a nice bright white color and they work out and they worked out really nice so anyway uh, that's pretty much it i'll see you guys in the next video later Sorry.